Hi Virgo, welcome to your December tarot forecast reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Okay Virgo, we're going to look into whatever your situation is here. We're going to take whatever comes out. It could be love, it could be career finance, it could be anything. So we're just going to take it as it comes. So obviously if you clicked on the title, then something in here resonated for you. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest, including signs mentioned. I could pick up on past, present, future energies, maybe something going on with someone around you, but it may affecting you. So please do keep that in mind. We're going to look at your situation, whatever comes out, whatever it may be, um, how you're feeling, what your energy is, messages for you. Um, we'll give you some advice, possible outcome, clarified with tarot oracles here. So stay tuned and see what the messages are for you. Okay, Virgo, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy December. All right, and this is for whenever you see this. Obviously, it's out before December, so it's for whenever you see it. Tell whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, playlists are listed below, so feel free. All right, Virgo, let's see. This is a Zodiac Oracle. Could get a sign element planet. So let's see what comes out here for you. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. So what do we have for Virgo, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. What do we have for Virgo at this time? Feeling that one. And Earth. <laughs> and that's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or you could have a uh, another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn around you in some way. You know, but Earth is an energy of being very practical, um, grounding energy, stable energy. It's a slow, steady process, slow growth. Uh, being very um, grounded. So we'll see how that plays into your reading here. It's nourishing energy with the earth, you know, very abundant energy. All right, so let's see. Let's get an opening message for you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you, Virgo, at this time. What is the opening message for Virgo at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So now we have Cancer. So you could have a Cancer around you or um, something may have happened during Cancer season, which is the end of June into July. Or maybe something did read a, pers uh, a resolution during that time. We'll see how that plays out. Or something that's going on now may come into resolution in the next Cancer season. Or I'm not sure, I'm not an expert on the moons, but whenever the next full moon in Cancer is, uh, you may want to look that up. And uh, I don't know, something in that time frame of the Cancer season or the full moon in Cancer, if there's an issue going on with you, um, may come into resolution at that time. All right, so let's see. Let's see here. Let's get another here. Energy card here for you. For Virgo at this time. We get an energy card here for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? I want the one underneath the top one. So we have look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Which is Sagittarius season. So we got full moon, full moon. So I do believe th something is coming to completion here. Because, you know, the moon always starts as the new moon goes to the full moon and then the cycle starts all over again. So something, two full moons here, something's coming to a close here. Uh, could be starting with the Sagittarius season, which is coming up this week into next month or beyond. Probably maybe now until the Cancer next full moon in Cancer. Um, however that resonates or whenever the next uh, full moon is in Sagittarius. I'm not sure when that is but of course there's always a full moon during the Sagittarius season but I know sometimes it isn't always the full moon I, I'm not sure how that works so I'm just gonna be honest so <laughs> you may need to look that up <clears throat> okay so underneath the deck here we have nothing is yet seen in, set in stone so yeah I think something you know stone reminds me of that earth energy so I think something here you may not see it yet. It's not clear yet with nothing is set in stone. Things can shift and change. Um, but I do see something coming to a resolution here. 
definitely with two full moons here. So let's see. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo at this time? What's going on for Virgo at this time? So what is this energy about? What is this energy about? Look at the bigger picture. So you may have to look, you know, nothing set in, set in stone. You may just have to look at things from a broader perspective, like get all um, the information you can, perspective, different aspects, like look at the whole entire picture, the whole thing, and maybe that resolution will come quicker. All right, so let's see. Or you could have a Cancer or a Sagittarius around you, or you could have these energies in your chart. All right, couple here for the lovers. Gemini energy doesn't have to be. This is the before tarot. So this doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. It can be about choices and decisions. So let's get one more. Let's see what's going on here. The three of swords. Okay, so there may be something... If, the, if you have a lover or a new lover, there may be something you're not seeing because this is the before tarot. So this is, you know, three of swords is air, air energy, Libra, Gem, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is about having a broken heart, but you don't have it yet because this is the uh, before tarot. There's something here. You need to look at the bigger picture. It could be about a lover to avoid a broken heart here. Oh boy. All right. Let's see. Let's see, Virgo. Let's get a couple more here. Knight of Swords. Yeah. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius and the three of Pentacles. So yeah, there could be a third party situation here. We've got two threes that you're not seeing. So uh, you may need to find out more information here with the Knight of Swords energy. You know, the Knight of, Knight of Swords can be a reckless kind of energy, a rebel. So, I mean, just be careful of that energy, um, not to do anything reckless or rebellious. This could be taking action here, cutting out somebody here. You may find out somebody, uh, you're in a third party and you don't realize it. Maybe, you know, look at the bigger picture. You need to really, you know, pay attention to things going on if you have a lover here. If things aren't making sense to you um, or something like that. Nothing is set in stone, so I don't feel like this is a committed relationship. Mm, boy, so let's look at your situation here. So you may find out your person has a third party or you are a third party and you may decide here to cut out that energy. Oh, and I wanted three, so let's see what your situation... Yeah, four swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with an air sign. A lot of air here, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. The Hermit, Virgo, that's you. Energy, that's you. And now we have the Queen of Cups. So now we have water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be. So this could be, you know, it, it does say Queen, could be female. So it could be like a motherly figure, a sister, a friend that may help you see something that you're not seeing with that lantern here with Virgo. Because this Hermit here goes within sees the light. So I think, I think someone's going to help you see the light about a situation. And then you have healing and recuperating here. So you may have to do some healing, a little bit of healing, um, thinking, contemplating, if it's not healing about this, about cutting this, ending this, as I do see third party here twice. So yeah, somebody may shed some light on something here for you. And now you really got to think about this situation. Do you want to be stuck in this or end it? So swift action here with the Knight of Swords, taking action, cutting away, standing up, not taking any BS, having truth and clarity, but taking that action forward. Just be careful of your energy. So let's get a couple more to clarify this situation. So we got the Ten of Pentacles here. So that is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody's married here. Ten of Pentacles is usually the marriage card. 
it's a family dynamic. It's uh, people who are together, who share their everything, finances, phone, family, the whole dynamic of a family legacy. Somebody's married here. So yeah, I feel like you may find out, someone may shed light here. They must may rush in and tell you, hey, you know, this person is married, if you didn't know that. <laughs> oh boy. So let's get one more to clarify this situation. The Emperor. Yeah, Aries energy here. So this could be a boss. It could be um, a fatherly figure. Maybe they're older than you. Um, and Or this is you just taking control, taking lead, taking charge, and taking control of the situation after you, someone helped you shed the light on, on this. Contemplating what you need to do. And I think cutting out there or someone rushing in telling you that someone's married. That, you know, this could be, like I said, could be a boss, could be someone a lot older than you. Um, kind of energy here. So I'm just getting the energy of the cards. Oh boy. Or like I said, you're just taking, taking control, saying, you know what? I don't want to be part of this. No. Coming forward to them, taking the lead. You know, what's going on here? All right, so... Yeah, the moon, secrets. Secrets coming to light right here with the hermit. Cancer Pisces again, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. So you could have a, it could be male or female, but I'm thinking more like a, maybe a female friend or a relative or a co-worker that may shed some light on you. Sh shed light for you here about secrets, the moon. And also needing to listen to your gut, your intuition about this. Things aren't being seen clearly. All right, so. And this also could be the Cancer energy here. Is this Cancer Scorpio Pisces here? They could be Cancer. The moon is Cancer or Pisces. All right, so let's get one more. Six of Pentacles. So this is about, um, usually I take it as equal give and take, equal reciprocity, balance. But you see this person's giving to two people, giving to one while the other is begging. So yeah, I think someone will shed light on you, on this for you that this person, because this things aren't balanced. You see there's three on this side and only two on that side. So yeah, somebody will shed light that this person probably is married. And they've probably been hiding it well, if you haven't found out yet. So let's get more. Queen of Pentacles, so there's your energy, King or Queen, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Knowing yourself, value your worth, you know, am I really going to accept their offers here? You know, may they may promise you, oh, you know, I'm going to leave them for you, or things will be more stable, or promising you things here. And you're looking at that Pentacle like, it's being handed to me by a snake. Um, no, nah, I don't think so. Knowing your self-value and your worth. With the Queen of Pentacles energy. And they probably offered you this pentacle and you took it before not knowing it was being handed by a snake. <laughs> oh boy, Virgo. Okay, so what else here? Knight of Cups, exactly. Coming forward uh, with offers of love here. They probably came forward with, you know... Words of affection, offers of love, you know, probably talked sweetly to you, all that buttered you up, all that kind of energy. But in the meantime, they had a secret that they had somebody else here. And you didn't know they were a sneaky snake when they handed you that pentacle and that cup, offering you stability and love. Yet they, were, they had a secret here. I think a water sign, maybe even a cancer, is going to help you, uh, you know, maybe you're getting funny feelings about it. Maybe they're breadcrumbing you. Maybe they're not always there. Maybe they have excuses all the time. So it's like issues, like issues all the time, like a personal issue reaches re resolution. So somebody's going to help you see the light in this. So what did this card say here? Um, look at the bigger picture. Yeah, exactly. Somebody will help you see the bigger picture here. I mess all my cards up. 
Okay, so let's get your possible outcome. Thank you, Virgo. Nine of Cups. So this, you know, is about, nines are about being single. So it's a solo energy. But you see this man kind of overindulging, like getting ready to overindulge. So yeah, overindulging here. This person's overindulging with you and somebody else, probably married. <sighs> so let's get another one here. Let's get another one here. Now we got the King of Pentacles. So now you're coming out as the King and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So yeah, really knowing your value, your worth. You may might have felt like they were a soulmate. They could be a fellow earth sign. And you feel like, oh, you know, I'm really attracted to this person. I really like them. You know, maybe really get along well. You feel like, you know, there it's a soulmate kind of energy. But I don't know. I'm, I'm getting heavy third party here. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Divine energy here, trying to shed light, trying to deliver you the messages here that you need to see. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or there could be another Earth, uh, air sign around you as well as a water sign that will help you see, bring in news here, help you see things. Also, you may have a couple people telling you, but also this Queen of Swords is gathering information here and she can take that sword again, like the Knight of Swords and use it to cut out things not serving having truth and clarity, honest communication, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS. So you may decide just to go single here with the Nine of Cups energy. Be careful over indulgence. You see all these cups being filled. Just remain stable and grounded in your energy. Don't turn to overindulgence of any kind. Do what you need to do here, what's best for you and truth and clarity. I don't feel like um, it could be somebody you're dating or maybe you're just really getting to like them now and then someone's going to reveal to you, you know what, uh, they're married <laughs> or they're with somebody else. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the Six of Swords. So yeah, you may decide here just to get in this boat, move on to calmer waters, a more peaceful place, leaving that garbage behind. Eight of Swords here. So this could talk of mental entrapment stuck in your head. So you may, I mean, you may not be there yet, or you may be starting to have these thoughts about this situation, but you're not quite at that point yet where you're just like stuck in your own head and you can't get out of that energy. So, that, you know, you may end up in that energy, but I think you have some people here that are going to help you. Yeah, death. So this is an ending. Ending could be coming here. Uh, starting over, starting new, new beginning. Scorpio energy here. And then manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself. So this is um, Gemini and Virgo. So that's your energy. So you know you can manifest another new beginning. Another new beginning that's divinely guided for you. So if you're not too heavily invested in this person... I would probably try to get more information and uh, I wouldn't really invest any more. That's the energy I'm getting. King of Wands. So now we have fire energy here. So yeah, there's a lot of different energy here. So I mean, we have we have all the suits here now. So there's a lot of people. So there's a lot of people involved here. King of Wands. So I mean, you could be involved with the fire sign. Or they could be involved with the fire sign if they're another sign. A lot of signs here. So, you know, King of Wands is not afraid to go after what they want. And they don't really care. You know, they're strong. They're ambitious. They're fiery. They're go-getters. See, promising you this, the sun and the brand new beginning in love. But they had secrets with the high priestess energy here. Secret secrets secret secrets and they promised you love and they promised you the sun they just went after they saw you and like oh yeah i think i'm gonna go after that but you can manifest you can end this and manifest a brand new beginning for yourself don't get caught up in this and you can move on to a better place oh okay so i'm gonna get more messages here for you virgo with this deck so Virgo, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. 
Um, if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a general tarot forecast. I do a love connection reading, singles reading if you're single who's coming towards you. And I do messages from spirit, what you need to know from spirit at this time. So if you are interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And uh, please check the description box below for any information you need. If you'd like a personal reading, social media, decks I'm using. And just thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Couldn't do it without you guys. So without your support, this channel wouldn't grow. So thank you so much for being a part of that. Okay, so let's get some extra messages here for Virgo. Let's get some. Know in the earth there, just try to remain in your energy, stable and grounded, moving forward. Environment. So there's a lot going on in this environment here. <laughs> At 44, uh, 4 is a double number here, which is about foundation, stability, the basis. You will become stable and grounded again. You know, you will stabilize your environment here. You can work through this, move on from this. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Physical activity. Seven and six is uh, 13, four again. So three fours here. So yeah, you, you can be, you will be stable in the future. Physical activity. So I don't know if there's a lot of sex here or maybe you just need to get more physical exercise. Okay, so let's see for Virgo. Let's get one more message for Virgo. Personal growth. So you can grow beyond this. A lot of purple here. It's about manifesting, as we have the magician over there. It's about manifesting a new beginning. So you will grow, you know, you'll have a lot of personal growth out of this. You'll learn your lessons. Uh, seven, a divinely guided path for you. There's something better for you down the road that's better for you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Financial discipline, 84, which is 12, which is 3, which is about teamwork, collaboration, working together, people coming together, celebrating, you know, uniting kind of energy. So I don't know if you need to watch your finances. This could be a message um, maybe to keep an eye on that, on your finances, maybe not spending so much here. Or maybe uh, this person you're involved with is in finances or something like that. Okay, Virgo. <laughs> I hope this resonated for you. Um, Sorry, I see a third party energy here. And if you're, if you got intuition about that, then I say you're probably right and find out more information. I think people will shall will shed light on this for you and you need to look at the bigger picture and, uh, you will come to a resolution about this and there will be better things for you to come in the future. Virgo, best of luck to you. I'm sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is always, always shine your light.